this here is your default WooCommerce My Account page and it has a default endpoint, orders, download address and so on. I have also a wish list here, but this one comes from the team. Now today I'm going to show you how to add custom endpoints on your account site. For example, I have added here a support tab with a contact form and some message. And I'm going to also show you how to add another custom endpoint. This time I'm going to output the learn dash profile page here. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's a fairly easy hack and it's going to take only a couple of minutes to set it up. I'm going to start by going to the dashboard. Now I'm going to go to the plugins and add new. Pay attention though that you don't have to add a plugin if you're using the child theme because you can add the code I'm going to show you today. You can add it to the child themes functions PHP file. I'm not using a child team, therefore I'm going to search for a plugin called code snippets because this one allows me to add all sorts of custom functionality to my site. So install and activate it and next go to the snippets and add new. Give it the title, for example, support tab for my account page. And now paste this snippet here. The link to the snippet itself is in the description of this video, so take a closer look at it. Now a couple of things for you to explain. First, here goes your tab slug. What is a slug is the one you see here. As you see, if I hover on your orders down below, you see the slug orders here. If I take a look at my courses, then this is the slug here. And support is this slug here. So change this one here accordingly. For example, support tab. Give it the title, support. Next one, uh, we're gonna register this endpoint for a permalink and change this slug here accordingly. Next one, we're gonna add some content inside your uh, endpoint and uh, pay attention that this part here is important since my tab slug is support tab I'm gonna change this part otherwise it's not gonna work now here goes my text and here goes my short code for the form itself next one I'm going to reorder my tabs. First is dashboard, your orders, account details, edit address, wish list, support, and log out. Here goes the slug itself. As you see, those are the slugs you see down below here. I can change the titles as I like. And pay attention that I have to add correct tab slug here. I need to clarify though that this part here, this is the last part here, you see. You don't have to add it, just use it only if you need to rearrange your tabs. If you don't need it, then the support tab will be added down below, just before the logout tab. But if you need it to be somewhere else, then you can change it accordingly. Now, save changes and activate, and that's, let's take a look what happened. I'm gonna go to the My Account page. As you see, there is a support tab. I click on it and well, oops, that page can't be found. And this happens because I did not resave my permalinks. Take a look at this part here. This says that in order to make it work, you need to go to the settings, permalinks. Just scroll down, save it. Go back and refresh it and there you go now it works and as you see support tab added to the my account page and if you need to reorder those tabs here for example you need this support to be the first one just grab the code paste it in a place you need it to be save it refresh it and there it is now let's take a look how to add the learn dash profile to your WooCommerce My Account page. In a way you see right here. Well, basically everything is the same. Just paste the code I showed you before. Change the slug here and the title here. Also change the slug here. Pay attention, you have to add the correct slug also here. Here goes the LD profile shortcode for the learn dash. 
and the last part is for the order of the endpoints. Once again, save changes, go to settings, permalinks, just save it. Go to the account page, open up your courses tab and there it is. Now you're probably wondering, but what about those tabs here? Well, I'm not going to show you how to create a my account page like this one here. Also, I'm not going to show you how to create a my account page like the one you see right here. That works with the tabs. If you're interested, then take a look at the screen right now, because I have created separate videos about how to create a custom my account page. Now, if you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Meanwhile, take care.